Hey everyone today we are going to discuss about one of the most important type of dialog box in javascript and that is a prompt dialog box there are three types of dialog boxes in javascript one is a alert dialog box then second one is a confirm dialog box and third one is a prompt dialog box so in the previous lecture we already discuss about what is meant by dialog box and also we discuss about the alert and confirm dialog box in detail with example and today we are going to discuss about the prompt dialog box and then we see the example program of prompt dialog box so let's first see that what is meant by prompt dialog box so the prompt dialog box is used when it is required to pop up a text box for getting the user input thus it enables interaction with the user we use a prompt dialog box whenever we want the opinion of the user so the prompt dialog box also has two buttons which are okay and cancel okay means the value is true and cancel means the value is false the user needs to provide the input in the text box and then click on the okay button as we seen in the alert dialog box alert dialog box has only one button that is a okay confirm dialog box has again two buttons okay and cancel and prompt dialog box has again two buttons that is a okay and cancel so when user clicks on the okay button then the dialog box reads that value and returns it to the user but on clicking the cancel button the prompt method returns to null okay so let's see the syntax of prompt dialog box as we seen earlier in the previous lecture alert dialog box and confirm dialog box has only one parameter that is a message and prompt dialog box has two parameters the first parameter is a message and the second parameter is default string okay so now let's move on to the example okay so here once again i open notepad plus plus to write down the code so first write down the basic structure of html so again the first tag in html that is a html tag then head after head tag there is a title tag write down the title as for example prompt dialog box then end the title tag after that write down the opening script tag then the closing script tag and then closing head tag after that write down the opening body tag then the closing body tag and then closing html tag okay so let's save the program first go to file then save as after that name the file for example prompt.html okay so this is a basic structure of html document now write down the code inside the body tag first so here i am going to include one or more heading tag to just display the information to user you can skip this part also if you want so here i am going to write the heading tag to for example hello world then end of h2 tag again write down h2 welcome to javascript then again end of h2 then the h3 tag click on the following button end of h3 tag and then after this we have to write the code to insert a button in our web page so here write down input type equal to in double quotation button we have to insert the button so input type equal to button then i want to display the text on button as a click me so here the property value value equal to in double quotation click me and then when user clicks on the button the event is generated that is a on click event and it calls the function that is a show function you can name the function anything as you want double quotation complete and then end of input tag so this is a code of button so again let's save the program okay so this is a basic code inside the body tag that is a h2 tag this is also inside h2 tag this is a inside a h3 tag and this is a button now i am going to write the code of the prompt dialog box when user clicks on the button a prompt dialog box will appear and it 
and it asks for some of the input after entering some value if user clicks on the okay then it shows the value that user has entered and if user click on the cancel button then it shows null value okay so here we call the function show so write down the function that is a show and then inside show function we write down the code of prompt dialog box okay now here i am going to declare one variable that is a variable a you can take any uh, name as a variable okay so variable a equal to we have to call here the prompt dialog box so write down prompt we know the syntax of prompt dialog box first is a prompt and then in bracket two parameters one is a message and the second one is string so first write down the message for example enter your name double quotation complete and then comma again the string you want to display for example again i am going to write enter your name okay so here we call the prompt dialog box the first parameter is a message means means when the prompt dialog box appears it shows the message as enter your name and the second parameter is a text string means there is a one text box appear and inside that text box there is a by default message and that is enter your name we pass all these values to the variable a so again write down document dot write in bracket your name is double quotation complete comma plus a bracket complete and end with semicolon and then end of function so what happens here the prompt dialog box appears which shows the message the first parameter is a message so it shows the message as enter your name and after that it has one text box which has a by default message that is enter your name when user enter the name then that name is saved in a variable a and here we have to print that name so write down doc document dot write your name is and then the value of a okay so again save the program and run it okay so this is a basic structure of our html document okay so let's click on the button that is a click me okay so as you can see the prompt dialog box will appear here the first parameter is a message it shows the message as enter your name and the second parameter is a text string means here is a one text box and which has a by default message that is enter your name suppose here i enter the name for example aparna jagtap and then click on okay button okay so here the value is true and it shows the message as your name is aparna jagtap now again refresh the page i am going to refresh it again click on the button now click on cancel button okay so here if user do not input the name then the name is null value that is a prompt dialog box will show the value as a null okay so this is a very simple example program of prompt dialog box i hope you understand all the dialog box with their example program so if you have any doubt regarding this topic or any other topic then let me know in the comment section i will try to answer your all the questions